Welcome to the Sankofa Pan-African series. We travel through history's corridors, illuminating Afrocentric narratives. Support us through Patreon or by buying me coffee. Your subscription is a great start, but do hit the bell for notifications so you know when we have new episodes. Share our videos and visit our website sankofastorybooks.com for stories, biographies, Afrocentric nursery rhymes and other resources for children. Together can change the negative narratives about us. Unlocking the healing power of copper leaf. Copper leaf, scientifically known as Acalypha wilkesiana, is a vibrant ornamental plant native to the South Pacific Islands, but widely naturalized in tropical regions, including Africa and the Caribbean. It goes by various names depending on the location, such as in Nigeria, it's called Obo de Ogede, in Ghana, Sankarambia, in Jamaica, Fire Dragon Plant, and in Trinidad and Tobago, Jacob's Coat. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, copper leaf boasts a range of potential health benefits rooted in traditional medicine practices. One of the most common ways that Africans use copper leaves is by boiling them in water, which is used for bathing and treating skin ailments like eczema. Let's delve into some of its remarkable properties. First, wound healing. Copper leaf is renowned for its wound healing properties. The leaves are often crushed and applied topically to cuts, sores, and skin irritations to promote faster healing and prevent infection. Second, anti-inflammatory. The plant contains compounds with anti-inflammatory effects, which may help alleviate pain and swelling associated with various conditions, such as arthritis and muscle aches. Third, digestive aid. Copper leaf has been used traditionally to address digestive problems like diarrhea, constipation, and indigestion. It is believed to soothe the digestive tract and promote regular bowel movements. Fourth, respiratory health. Some traditional practices use copper leaf to relieve respiratory issues like coughs, colds, and bronchitis. Its potential expectorant properties may help clear mucus from the airways. Lastly, antimicrobial. Studies suggest that copper leaf extracts exhibit antimicrobial activity against certain bacteria and fungi, suggesting its potential use in fighting infections. How to prepare copper leaf? Copper leaf can be used both topically and internally. Here are a few common preparation methods. For a poultice, simply crush fresh leaves and apply them directly to wounds or affected areas. If you're making an infusion, steep dried or fresh leaves in hot water to create an herbal tea. And for a decoction, boil leaves in water to extract their beneficial compounds, then allow it to cool and consume. Note, while copper leaf has a history of traditional use, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before using it for medicinal purposes, especially if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or have any underlying health conditions. Copper leaf is a testament to the rich tapestry of natural remedies found across the globe. By harnessing the wisdom of traditional practices and exploring its potential through scientific research, we can unlock the full healing potential of this vibrant plant.